is everybody doing this Friday night? Here we are to show you this cute little purse that I put together. Look at this. I put a little tiny magnet on it. I made the flap big enough that it could hold lots of really good yummy pictures in it. Okay, so we're a little bit early. I realize we're a little bit early. So I had some a special request that somebody wanted to see the background of my <laughs> of my space. This is not really the background. This is my working area uh, inspiration. So I thought since we I was a little bit early, I might show it to you uh, real quick, and I will show you. This uh, container is from IKEA. I believe it's called the Kalak. Um, it's uh, spaces here, I want to say, are 14 inches, right? Just about everybody has one. Uh, they're 13-inch blocks, squares. If we have a carpenter, maybe they can make us some. <laughs> this is a 13-inch Kalak. And then I have an extra long strip of a Kalak on top, just one that's just right on top. It has four spaces, one, two, three, four. And that's because every time we move, I have something else happen. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, it what used to be under a, a window or something, this little thing on top. And of course I put it up on top because I have the space. And then this is just a cute little banner that I made. I want to say I made it last year for our create, uh, just to have something fun to see. Uh, and then all the little scrapbook pages, I know I have to have classes on them because the scrapbook pages, uh, are what I've been doing. So every time I finish a scrapbook page and I'm really in love with it, then I put it up here. Like I know that the one from the hearts here is um, from not this February, but the February before. And so now you can kind of see it really good. Uh, it was a project that I did when I was at the Scrap Shack and uh, it was super fun to do. Uh, and then the projects that I have here on the side, I feel like a school teacher, I'm gonna point. <laughs> uh, this one I just did right here on top. I think you can kind of see it. It's uh, the blue one with the china cabinet. I know that has to be one of the blue. Let's see, it was a china cabinet, but I wanna say that that is Canton Blur. So if you go in my list and go look at Canton Blur, you'll find uh, this page. And then this one we did recently, it's a double spread and it has the um, the trellis in the middle. It's with the flower shop, and uh, it's just super cute, I love it. And then this one right here is our little purse. Ta-da, it's the purse from last year. Uh, or no, I wanna say the purse is actually from, did we say 2019? I wanna say that little purse die is from 2019. And um, then this is, um, Let me remember what this collection was called. Uh, I loved it because I used, it has a lot of peachy colors in it and, and pills, and it was kind of manly looking for me. So I used it for my son's, uh, uh, what do we call it, uh, ring day. Uh, I know the, the collection, but I just don't know it right this minute. Uh, Salon, Salon Nouveau, I want to say this is the Salon Nouveau. And um, I did his kind of ring uh, page in it. It also has a trellis. I do love a trellis. I, I will be the one to tell you that I do love a trellis. Hey, hey, Cynthia, how are you? Hey, Marilyn. Hey, how are you, Marilyn? Yeah, so this is the Salon Nouveau. Um, yes, Yvonne, nice to see you again. Hey, so that was it right here. And of course, the purpose of having the scrapbook pages in front is that I'm hiding this mess behind it. Don't we all have kind of spaces that we hide? So uh, to me, um, that little page there is prettier than looking at what the mess that's behind it. And I'm, I'm not uh, ashamed to show you what messes I have because I feel like we all have messes uh, and, and why not? So this is another one that's a Salon Nouveau and it's kind of like a little uh, card inside. I know it has more, but I don't want to separate it. I think I must have put it together for a reason. But same event, Salon Nouveau, Ring Day, Go Longhorns. And uh, so we have it right here. And I'll put that right there. So that is what my page in the back uh, looks like. Um, my scenery or my space, everything in, in behind it, like if I had to pick this one up and remove it, this was last year's uh, February page. Isn't that fun? Oh, I just
just love that. Uh, has more stuff that's hiding. Like this is my black paper. Uh, and then I kind of do a rainbow system in the papers. And the space behind is brown paper. Yep, very exciting, brown paper. But this is way prettier for me to look at. Um, and then I do have baskets further down that kind of look the same like those baskets that are at the top that have lots of stuff that are just kind of, you know, all out different sizes. I kind of like things contained. So, hey, are we about ready to start? Are you guys ready? It's it's super exciting. I have the cutest. I've been playing with Grace and Charlotte, and it is so much fun. You are going to love, love, love the way this looks. It is so pretty. If you like pink, and I got inspired and put on a pink outfit, so uh, why not? So let me bring this down so that I can show you. I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see and then I'll bring up the live, and I'm hoping, hey, Mabel, how are you? Yes, we're ready. All right, so I am gonna try this. I have it all on one uh, camera prop, and I'm gonna try to move it down. So forgive me if you get a little dizzy here. Let me see if we're gonna be able to do this. And let me bring up my laptop on a live. And here. Okay, and I think that if I put this out here, let's see. Can you see me? Yep, so we would be upside down. So hold on tight. I'm gonna spin the camera and I'm going to stood, hopefully not, if nobody's getting dizzy. Uh, okay, so now uh, we're not upside down, I think. That will work. How is everybody doing this Friday evening? Hello, Dell. Hey, how are you? Hey, Anna, Barbara. Uh, my room is pretty, but it is, thank you very much, but it is quite messy. I, uh, I'm i a messy scrapper. Uh, and uh, Anna will tell you, Anna, when she comes to visit me, it's, uh, this place gets pretty crazy. Uh, yes, so. Uh, enough with the fun uh, dangles, pearls and whatnot. We need to scrapbook, right? So let's put those things aside and let me see if I can bring this closer. You know, my son got me spoiled when he started helping me with the lives and now he's, he has fun things to do. <laughs> and I'm like, so now who's gonna help me? Okay, so let's see if if we stay in screen, let's see, this is right here. I'm gonna try to stay right there. Hello, hello everybody, Joan. Hello, Sharon, how are you? And Sherry, hey. Hello, Barbara, thank you so much. I uh, work really hard in this room. So um, let me show you what I did to the one that we worked on yesterday. All I did was added a little buckle because I think these are gonna need a little buckles. I ran it through a little embossing folder, just anything that you'd like. I don't think it necessarily has to have it. It is gonna make it weaker, so you should use something that's really strong. And then when you put it through here, thank you, Annette. I love pink and I will do just about anything if there's a dress up day, right? So when I did this, I wanted and kind of made a score here at about two and a quarter. This bottom space right here, let me find my ruler. Hello, hello, hello. And here, this is like one and three quarters thick, the bottom base for me. And so I wanted to be able to make sure that if we had a little buckle that it would be able to hold everything in, okay? And so I made it right now, it might be a little bit too big. Do you see that? But eventually we'll put lots of fun stuff in here and so it won't be too big. So for right now, that's what we have going on. Okay, so let's put my little uh, purse away over there and let me show you all this lovely stuff I have. Oh, and I need to bring up Sherry, that is what I was talking about. What part, I didn't, I missed it. Hello, have fun from uh, Illinois. Uh, yeah, the we were talking about 
the pop out, uh, the little belt buckle has to be really uh, big because otherwise you can't, um, like, when do you put the buckle on it? Do you put the buckle on it now before you fill it? Do you put the buckle in, you know, after you fill it? Um, there we go. I'm trying to cover this up. Oh no, did, did we freeze? Let's look. Nope, it's still working. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid that maybe I'd frozen again. I apologize for yesterday's um, IT problem. We had a little internet uh, problem going on. The internet was uh, not on our side, but it is today. And that's what we're going to say, that the internet is with us today. So let me show you the papers that I picked out. I have this one, um, Grace, is it Grace Collection? And then this gorgeous one right here with the felt in it. Oh, I just love these. And then one that's kind of uh, a little bit lighter. And then of course the really dark ones are over here. And this one is my star because it's on the front of the purse. And then I picked out, I haven't used the foil one, but I was using this matte one. And this matte one I'm using to make it bigger. Hello, Sandra, how are you? Hey, Sandra Cantu, how are you? My maiden name is also uh, a Cantu. So uh, yeah, Sandra and I are sisters in another uh, dimension, right, Sandra? Uh, so here we ha have this part. Uh, ordered my die. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I can't wait till we, we play together. And okay, so here are the papers that I was picking out. And let's see what we have. I'm going to put them over to the side so that you can see what I have been cutting. I pulled out this die right here because I think it'll be cute to cover up that ruffle area from the inside. Do you guys remember how we needed something to cover and Charlotte and Grace don't come with these little, uh, this brown area you see right here. So I thought that this might be pretty to cover that up in the inside. So that's why I have this right there. I'll keep referring to this one, our, uh, what I'm calling my sloppy copy, uh, not my most favorite of colors. I don't know, I kind of think I would have liked this uh, on the I think I kind of like it if my purse was in reverse. I think I like this side better than this side. But uh, I love the pinks and that's what we're gonna work with today. So here, let's put this down so that we don't lose them because sometimes we lose them, don't we? You, you Yvonne, you have also Cantus in your family? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, there's, there's, I, uh, let me see, on my father's side, there were some that uh, moved to the California area. Um, his sisters went to work in the uh, grape fields, I guess they call them. I don't know. Great, great. maybe they're not fields. They are something else. Orchards. Um, but look at how pretty that looks. I took just two plain pieces of pink, and when you put them together... They just look so pretty. Hey, Annie, Laura, are you here? Annie, Laura, uh, let me know, Sharon, that she was going to have company today and that she probably wasn't going to meet us. It depended on when her company was walking in the door. Uh, but I did speak to her today and uh, she is going to have to uh, get with Shelly because her and Shelly like to uh, share... Uh, dies and she goes now I'm gonna have to go buy a a um, die purse a purse die and I said well between me and uh, Sharon we will keep you stocked with dies right Sharon because you my dear are a little die angel I hear Sharon look at that pretty papers hey Donna how are you I had no idea you were in Houston. I'm still in total amazement. Okay, I cut up a bunch of these little gold ones also, right here. Those are my little buckles. I still have some gorgeous pink ribbons because I think ribbons would be really pretty on this purse. And then let me pull these little things out here so you see where I'm at. Okay, so the foil, that's this one, I thought would be really pretty if we used this kind of like, kind of like a little lacquer purse 
handle right there. So I have these here, okay? And what I do when I do this, and you can see it probably better on my other purse, is I have a light gray, and then I have the darker gray foil, and then I will make one also. That, that magnet is good. And then I also make them for the inside. Now you don't have to, but I like things to look really finished, and that is why I put them on the inside. Hey, Annie, you are here. Hello. I thought maybe your company came and you weren't here. We were, we would miss you. And so, so what we have here, if you are, uh, if you're somebody that wants to write down how many of these we have, I will let you know that we have two of the shadow handles. And then what I have is four of the handles that are gonna go on top of that, right? Okay, we have uh, the mat again. I'm doing it in uh, the pretty foil paper. And it is the exact same mat that comes from the die. So, uh, and when I go to score it, I use the very least spot to score because I want it to be as wide as possible. I can see that there might have been another score that could have been a little bit closer in, but I am using the least possible score right here. Is fuchsia one of your colors? It's kind of a fuchsia pink, so I'm going to call it pink. Annie and I have problems with uh, calling blue purple and purple blue. And so I'm glad that this is on the fuchsia side. I have a friend, her name is Marilyn, that loves purple. Uh, she's also gonna be in Dripping Springs with me and I'm making a surprise for her. She doesn't even know it. I'm making a purple tutu for her. She's gonna be freaked out when she sees it. So here is the base bottom, okay, in the fuchsia. And then this little, spot right here. I want to show you what this is. And I had my sloppy copy in here. Here it is. So here's my sloppy copy of it. It is what we would be using for the binding system of this little mini book. Okay. It is the binding system for this little mini book. I'm trying to hold it just perfect so you can see it. It's going to have three signature pages. One, two, three. And I will tell you the size of this is three and three quarters this way. And, uh, excuse me, three and three quarters this way and four and three quarters this way. Okay. And what you use this with is, I don't see it. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I'm sure that many of you guys have the fancy folders or rosette folders. And here is the rosette folder. Yes, Donna, I can't hardly wait. You're probably a tutu expert. I looked up on YouTube how to make an easy tutu. I probably should have called you to talk to you about that. Um, so how I made my hinge system is I put it in this fancy folder that is a rosette, and it is the border small rosette that comes from the fancy dies, uh, fancy fold tricks, paper tricks, okay? And I tried to make it, make sure that it went right to the edge and right to this edge, okay? Uh, so that it's cut nice and neat, okay? Because you're gonna be able to see it. That's why this ended up looking like a sloppy copy because it, I didn't like the way it ended up. It just didn't look really pretty for me. So here is this part. And what we're going to end up with is uh, 10 of these little pleats completed, okay? And here is what we have. Now on the back of it, I have it all filled up with the score tape, heavy extra duty score tape, because that way we're ready to fold it and we attach it to the base here, okay? And let's talk about our, our pages, our front pages here. Losing little pieces. Losing little pieces, as long as we don't lose our mind we're okay. This is just a piece of scrap paper. I don't like to make my, my little tags or my little extras until the end because you can see over here, this is all my little extra scraps and these are going to be what I use for these little bitty tags. Okay, so there goes that one and here is our uh, little page and the bottom, I'm going to tell you how big this is so that you can recreate exactly what we have here. And we are at five 
and a half going across up and down and then of course going this way we are at six and then I just made uh, a fancy little uh, it kind of looks like an art deco it's a very old one from creative memories it says not for resale so I don't know how I bought it interesting uh, anyway it has a little uh, cut and I made this little edge on it you can leave it square you can round it I just didn't my other rounder is is too big of a rounder it was too fat and I wanted something a little bit a uh, smaller yeah, this pink purse is really darling. Uh, thank you so much, Yvonne, for hanging out with me. I so appreciate you hanging out with me. And what we have here is the, the pocket. And I'm going to tell you the size of the folds of the pocket. Okay, so the size of the folds of the pocket are five going this way. And then up and down, we are at four and a half. Okay, and then what I did with the fold, here we go is I put score tape on it, you can see from this one, and then you fold it in, and I put uh, some of the pink paper, this one. I used this one because this has the gold foil in it, and I thought it would be cute peeking out from here. Do you see how that works? And then if this is going to be our front or our back, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm losing little gold tags, isn't that fun? So it's gonna sit right here. And I know some of you guys don't want to, like to do the eyeball method, but it works for me. So I do it quite often. And now we're going to take these little pieces off. Um, and I don't know if anybody has experience with uh, score tape, but my sweet friend uh, Roncia was telling me that we should use glue that score tape sometimes fails when the temperature changes. Um, so yeah, just be careful with that kind of stuff. I, I don't have my stuff out most of the time. I have it in regular temperature uh, areas. So, you know, if you have temperature, or, you know, if you're in a basement or something, I don't know, here a basement would be like not nice because, oh, it would be hot. Okay, so we are kind of getting these down. And score tape is not friendly to move, so here we are. It's not absolutely perfect, but I like it, okay? And then I do kind of score it down and press really good, make sure it's holding, okay? And then let me show you, I did this one. Sonia, I see you using, uh, yes, you like that. Sonia loves this tool. She has several in her arsenal. I do like it, I'm telling you. Hello, Sonia, nice to see you again. Uh, Cynthia, what uh, method? Hello, Angie. I am trying to see what method of tutu, maybe a method of tutu. I was probably talking about a tutu method. So here uh, is a strip I did on this little Let's take this part off because it's just barely hanging on. I didn't want to completely glue it permanently while I had it for my little picture taking moment. Um, there we go. So I wanted this paper to be, because it's text weight paper, I wanted it to be the ruffle, but it is not double sided. And since it is not double-sided, then on the other side it's gonna show. So what you do is you need to fold it in half and then cut it to the size that you want. And you run it through the score machine. And then you have it now double-sided. How about that? And uh, it works. Uh, it's delicate. Text weight paper is a little bit on the delicate side. Uh, but I love the way it looks. It has that little foil. And then what we need to do here is I um, run, I might have to actually have more glue, glue a roll of tape put into this little thing before the night is over. And so now I have, yeah, you see that? So I don't know, how many of you guys use this ATG uh, system? I, I love it. Uh, but I, um, 
this last time I buy the generic tape and I bought the wrong loops. So I think I need this loop system. There is five holes in this loop. One, two, three, four, five. And in this other one, it has lots of little holes. So uh, it doesn't work the same. Now you can make it work because I am making it uh, work. I cut it and jam it in there. Uh, I was using an HG, but it got expensive. So what I was have been getting, if I can open it, I get it from a Tape Jungle, and am I opening this wrong? <laughs> uh, there we go. I was uh, getting it from Tape Jungle uh, before COVID, and they were coming in at a dollar or so for this roll, and that's why I call them generic. Um, but uh, it still works for me. So let me show you here. You can see this is the uh, system that doesn't work. Uh, and the reason why it doesn't work is when I pull this out, there is a little black piece right here and over here. And so when you go and force this in, it doesn't fit. So I have to go and get some scissors and, and cut this little piece off. And then since it's cut, then you can make it fit into the space that you need it to fit. Because I have tons of these. And uh, Anna, I might have even used the ones that are five or the ones that are, I don't know, 10. I don't know. But um, regardless, I uh, make it work. I, I think the place is called um, Tape Jungle where I get these. And now I went to go look at them because I think I only have one box left and that would be 25 of these little rolls. And I saw that the price went up to like a dollar and a quarter per little roll. And um, you have to buy 20, 144 of them. You can't just buy, you know, 20 or 30. Uh, but like everything else, you can now get it on Amazon, and I think you can get like 10 of them or 25 of them on Amazon. And I constantly, every time I do this, I always look at this little template that is on here. And um, my sweet friend Pam is the one that got me hooked on this ATG gun thing, and I do use it all the time. I do like wet glue because I'm able to move it around. You better get your order ready for CH3. I know, I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Okay, and then I kind of test it to make sure there's uh, glue on the bottom of it, and there is. So, now, back to scrapbooking. So now I have uh, tape on one side, and I'm gonna put tape on the other side. Now you can use uh, tape, or you can use uh, the uh, score tape. I don't need it to be that heavy, so I'm okay, because if you were using real cardstock, then I would have to use heavy duty tape, but I don't, I, I this is text weight, so we have a little boo-boo here, but it'll be fine. Watch, watch, okay. So we're going to turn this into a box pleat. I've already ran it through the little pleat one, I thought it was kind of already folded. How did we do this here? Okay, so one, and then you have two, and you fold it in. And then you skip to two, and you fold one in. You skip two, you fold it in. And since I have tape on both sides of my little strip, then I am able to make it stick to both sides. Now, where's the boo-boo at? Here it is. Let's put a little wet glue on the boo-boo. I, 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 you know, I've got all my magnets ready for uh, CH3. I definitely have enough magnets. I don't think I have enough glue. I might have to go buy some glue. That's probably the only thing I need to buy. And then of course, all the extra paper because I like to hoard it. That should be a song. I like to hoard it, hoard it. Yeah, that sounds like a song. I'm the worst singer, so don't ever let me sing to you. It is it is bad. Yes. 
it is not a good thing. So then we're folding this little boo-boo in. And okay, so here is our, now on this one I put the pleated part from one side to the top, not all the way across, just on the very top corner. So I wanna do this one the same, right? And I'm gonna put the boo-boo part facing in. So hopefully you don't see it. I don't like that. I didn't like the way it was looking. It's okay to change your mind. I do it all day long. Sometimes because I forgot what I had decided to do. Right there. Starting it right on that little peak is where I'm at. Perfect. And then here we are. And now I can cut this little piece off. So now my house is quiet today because the boys are gone. They went to the rodeo, or they, they actually are in Houston. I, I'm not sure when the rodeo event is for them, but they're hanging out in Houston for the weekend. Fun for them. Okay, and now I need a little gold tag right here. And so super easy. You just kind of run your little gold for the bottom. I took off these little pieces, cut that little piece off. You know how to do that part. That's how we get this little gold buckle piece of it. Okay, and this is with wet glue. I, I like the ruffles on purses. It just gives it a little more texture, a little bit more umph to your purse. I mean, I'm, I would love to be able to figure out how to put a little ribbon on it. You know that cute little ribbon that Anna showed us on her uh, sample? I'm, so I'll have to kind of play with that. I'm gonna have to do that because I do like a, a little ribbon on a purse. More than just the little bow. Like I would love this little bow, but you know, she had a little, kind of like a scarf. So do we have to go get a piece of scarf? I do have some extra scarves running around here somewhere that um, maybe we need to get a scarf done for it. Okay, so now we have this one. Aha, uh -huh, but I changed my mind and I wanted the shiny one. But now we have this one. So do we want the shiny one or do we want the, the one that looks like this? I don't know. I kind of think I like the little felt one. I think I like this one better. The scoreboard, um, uh, using a metal scoreboard tool, tool uh, how to use a scoreboard to use ruffles. I was there, uh, Annie and Cynthia, I was there at one of those things that we used a uh, scoreboard for uh, making ruffles. I remember. And uh, yes, I remember doing that with her. Um, but but yeah, now it's nice that we don't have to, right? I think I'm going back and I'm not gonna use the shiny um, foil. I kind of really like, like this little felt. So I'm going to run this twice while I read you guys. You like the print one also, Sherry. I did too. That's why we're sitting here. That's why we're friends, because you like the one that I liked. Uh, yes. Wow, we're more than just friends, right, Sherry? We're more like uh, uh, sisters. It always looks like a kindergarten made it. It does not look like a real ruffle on a real dress or a paper ruffle, because I'm not, uh, I'm gonna have to get lessons from uh, Donna because she can sew, um, but I am not very good at sewing, but I, I can make a pretty good paper ruffle. Sherry, I'm sure that you can also. Um, compared, oh no, I'm spinning on my side. Okay, but my phone isn't spinning, so you guys have to tell me. I will promise I will come back if it starts spinning uh, towards you. 
Let's see, I'm still right here. You like red line tape. Okay, so Annie, Sharon, I have a nickname for, for that red line tape and I call it baloney tape. Isn't that cute? Because it looks like it belongs to, to the baloney. Um, yeah. I know, I'm sorry, I feel like I wasted. Uh, we will have to reuse this uh, shiny one somewhere else, but I really like this one better. I like the print. I like the print. We will figure out something else to do with that one. So now we have two little print ones and we need one of these. I'm pressing too hard, but I know I hate using it. <laughs> Ruffle lesson. Uh, at the crop breaks available. Yes, yes, okay. I think, uh, Donna, at those crop breaks, like I will be passed out on the floor. The, those crops, those, oh my gosh. Um, you know, create crop at home three is, is May. And oh man, this is nice and smooth. Wow. Um, and I don't know how you guys feel in between all those breaks, but I don't know if I could learn another technique. I might be um, very tired. I might be very tired. I don't know. Towards the end, I might um, be enjoying an alcoholic beverage, an alcoholic beverage, or an adult, adult, an adult beverage. Um, Look at that. That is really pretty. I really like that. Mega vitamins for sure. Yes, we need mega, mega vitamins. Okay, now this is the trick. I like to have them on both sides. So that is what I'm doing. I'm putting this on both sides. So I spoke to my friend Roncia. And Roncia, you guys are going to get to meet her on uh, the next Anna Griffin uh, live um, I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. Somebody else probably knows. Yeah, Mabel, I'll be, you're worn out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to uh, crop with my uh, 14 best friends. It's going to be super fun. Super, super fun. And of course, my other 3,000 best friends that I just met. Okay, so now what we have is we need four of these little gold tops. Energizer drinks, energizer bunnies, bringing extra batteries, anything that works, we are going to need because, yes, um, absolutely. Here is our little, and then this one, uh, Somebody didn't see it before. All, I, all we're doing is making a, a little fake circle following the line of the embossing folder. And there we go. And I don't know where my other detailed scissors are at. I think that they are on the side of my uh, couch in the, in the living room because I was using them for tutu making when I had my leg up and recuperating, I was making uh, Marilyn a purple tutu. I'm a pink person, I love everything pink, but I know that Marilyn loves purple. And I found some purple tutu material at Walmart, in my little bitty Walmart. And it, it I just had to take it home with me because my friend Marilyn is gonna look so cute with her purple tutu on. I wonder if she's still listening to us. I don't know. And here, super easy. These little things go in here, super easy. Sherry, I know I can't keep up with Anna, so I don't try. <laughs> yeah, but still, even if you're, you, yeah, keeping up in the chat is super fun. And, uh, you know, it's it's tough to try to stay up. Um, Sonia is the best. She is on it. I am so amazed that she can stay on top of all of that. So here we are. I like this right here on the ruffle. 
And then on the back, we're not gonna have another ruffle. Maybe I'll work the, the gold to that side. Is this already down too, too far? Yep, so we're not gonna do that. And I think I like that right there. So let's put some gold, some glue, sorry, I said gold. Some glue over the gold. And I'm putting that right in there. And where's our super cute little clothespins to hold that down? It's stinking cute. Does anybody ever watch this lady? She's the one that says stinking cute all the time and she make, makes me keep saying it. Uh, she's on, I don't know, uh, YouTube, TikTok, something, uh, because she is a, um, I'm going to do the other, this one next, because I want to do the, the handle in the exact same spot here. And this one, I had not put it together yet. You see, it's smart. You don't put the whole thing on it yet. I'm only doing the gold. And the gold is going to be sticking out. We're leaving the felt parts open for the outside. I think the stinking cute lady, I think she sells clothes. She must be on YouTube or TikTok or something. I don't know where I find, find things. Okay, that looks like a pretty good spot. And now we are going to put glue on this. How many of these do we have? There and there. And then the fabric one goes out, fabric, the print one goes out. And we're gonna bring this right here. Yeah, it's so quiet in the house today. It's just me and my husband and the two dogs and the eight chickens. Those girls, they they were noisy today. They were not happy. I don't know what was going on with them. Um, and the summer is coming when the snakes want to come and join them and animals. But my husband has tricks to do to keep them away. Okay, so we're going to let this aside and we're going to let this dry. Okay, and let's work on this because this is a little bit challenging. Uh, sometimes once you get it, you get it. The handle fits perfect. Yeah, I'm so glad that it worked because, um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, now let's find the other piece of this. Okay, so we have to make the little pages. What do we call these? The signature pages of this. Okay. So here's your piece. It has 10, it has 10 uh, channels. Let's call them 10 channels. So you're gonna have a flat channel that's going to be glued to this part. And then you're gonna have a part that pleats together to each other. Okay, like that. And then you're gonna have a flat one and then you're gonna have two that pleat together. Yeah, we're not talking about those things. Sonia, no, we're not even going there. And then here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not talking about them because yeah, they're 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 disgusting. I can't. I, I maybe somebody loves them, but I'm not going to be in that party. And now we have the ones that are standing up. So now what I like to do is the ones that are standing up are going to be. Uh, I guess I put too much glue in this, huh? I don't know. And then we put them together, pinch them together. So, and look at that. And we're taking this off. All right, there. And then we're taking this one. Do you see, this is really coming apart because it is heavy duty. This, this cardstock is heavy duty. Okay, now we're gonna push these down and you want to to have a, uh, 
uh, Dale, your little granddaughters are so, so cute and they would love for you to make them uh, an adorable pink purse or a purse that goes with their absolutely perfect outfits. Those uh, little girls are just drop dead gorgeous. Like um, uh, Miss USA in the makings. Uh, supermodels, yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the glass. Sorry. Okay, so now we have this. And this has to sit right in between these pieces, okay? And it looks like it's just a tiny bit of... There, it looks like I'm gonna hit just a tiny bit of the corners. So I'm just taking a tiny little corner here off because it kind of looks like it might be hitting on the corners and I prefer to cut before I glue things down. Okay, right there. And uh, yesterday I was telling you guys when you go to do this and you have score tape, it's really challenging to see it uh, so I put a little tiny uh, pencil mark on these spots. And then you can see that you're on, maybe the pencil mark is not so tiny because I can't see. Um, but it helps to put things down. And hello, Rosie. Rosie, my sweetest friend in the whole world. How are you? I miss you. Let's see. Rosie and I went to Orange Beach, Alabama. We had the best time ever, didn't we? Yeah, that was a that was for the books. That was kind of uh, we need to do that again. But I know it's gonna be. It was a long trip. Like it was it was a lot to drive. I don't know what was it eight nine hours, uh, and then we ended up staying in a halfway point coming home because we were so exhausted. It was Orange Beach, California. Uh, sorry, Orange Beach. Um, I, I'm, I'm gluing and talking at the same time. Uh, help me, Rosie. Orange Beach, Alabama. And it was Gigi's scrapbooking retreat totally recommend it. Everybody should go at least once in their lifetime. It was so phenomenal. Okay, so I got this down and I'm using my little pencil marks to make sure that it was kind of holding in to place. And now we're kind of gluing it down for sure. And I have the worst eraser known to mankind on this pencil. Like it feels like it's made of marshmallow fluff, but I don't know. Here we go. So now we have our perfect little spot here. And this is where we're gonna attach our pages. Uh, Martha, after surgery, Sharon, uh, my uh, knee is feeling so much better. I had the, um, what is it, like a meniscus tear and all kind of fun stuff taken care of. Uh, I've been uh, doing what I'm supposed to be doing and, and icing it and trying not to be on it too long because it does swell, I think, when you're on it too long. I'm, be, I'm trying to be a good patient. I promise. I'm trying to be a good patient. Okay, so here we have our wonderful stuff. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? Yeah, uh, I, I, I know. Don't we? Uh, Marilyn also was with us in uh, Orange Beach, California. That was, why am I saying California? Orange Beach, Alabama, for goodness sakes, Alabama. Okay, so I ran enough of these little gold stickers uh, to go on the bottom of our pages. And now what I have here is the page that is a hot pink, and then I have a peach, and then I have another hot pink. And that's kind of how I want to sit it uh, down. And I was thinking maybe this time we should uh, do it facing each other once? I don't know. No, I don't like it. I like being symmetrical the same. Let's let's call it what it is. I'm, I like things the same. Okay, so now, uh, real fast, before we put the pages in, we need to do these little orange, uh, these little gold things in. And uh, so, I'm a good paper whisperer. You're rocking the pink bad girl. <laughs> Uh, Marilyn
Erwin and I have a competition to see who's the coldest when we're at the crops. Right, Marilyn? We have like special equipment. Uh, like I have a little lap heater that I brought. Marilyn has a, a battery operated or something poncho that she would had on because Alabama, the, the crop was on the beach, but it was in January and it's cold. It's cold. So nobody said it was going to be that cold. Yeah, so um, that was really fun. It's called Gigi Scrapbooking Retreat. It happens in January, like around MLK Day. Uh, it is so much fun, but it is cold. So if you have temperature problems, be weary of that. And it is also loud. So you should know that it's kind of like a... I call it a, um, what was that called? A David Buster's kind of loud, like the young people running around, arcade gamey kind of loud. Uh, the uh, hosting is done by the restaurant, so they have their employees uh, running around and doing fun stuff, like making us stand up and do a Magdalena. Here we go, now we have our, our three uh, here. It's beyond cold. That's a good way to explain that. It is beyond cold. And you and I were ready for that. We were, uh, we had our cold things, you know, our, I had my lap heater thing. Uh, the girls that were sitting next to me uh, ha complained enough that they uh, brought them a electric kind of heat thing. And then all the power went out to our tables. They, I don't know, something happened and then it went all poof. It all went poof, went away. Look, I am so in love with this paper. This paper is just to die for gorgeous. This little felt, uh, what was this? Is this one the Grace and the Tex Weight one I think is Charlotte or do I have them, the names back, backwards? I don't know. I think I, I think I might be right. I think this is Grace. And the other one is Charlotte. One of your sons lives in, in Alabama, Yvonne. Oh my goodness. Anywhere near Orange Beach. Because you have got to go to this crop. Um, and if you go, I'll, I'll go with you. It's really fun. It was so much fun. Very lively, fun, loud music. I have to keep saying that because some of us have sensitive ears. And you have to make sure that you're prepared for that. Okay, so now I have my page, signature pages done, right? Now on the back of this, I covered this up, the little uh, felt stuff, uh, peekaboo holes. I ran this in an opposite color, and that is what the dye back here is. If I didn't say that, I apologize. Okay, so the actual dye I used to for this little opposite color right in here. And then the actual little page is bigger because I want a bigger scrapbook. I want more space. So this is five and a quarter, five and three eighths. And if I fold it over, I am at four and three quarters, okay? Um, but I did use this for that space. And now we need to do a score tape for this and the way I had them sitting was this is the bottom and this is the part that goes to the binding system. I'm right, this is Grace, I love this. And then here we're going to have a little pocket to put a little tag in there and we will make tags for that. And so now we have this here and I'm using kind of thick uh, tape because I don't want it to come open. This to me is something that people are gonna be flipping over all the time. So you need to have it uh, to be secure. Yes. I have put the wrong glue on places before, so I was kind of double checking my spot there. And my computer is spinning, which means I'm losing uh, internet on my computer, but I am recording 
with my phone. So I think that you guys can still see me because I'm hoping that you would tell me if you couldn't see me anymore like yesterday. I really am thankful that you guys were able to uh, let me know that that you, it was just spinning and really so thankful. We still have to convince Marilyn, we still have to convince Rosie to come with us to Dripping Springs in May. Won't that be fun? But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think I have two spots open still. I think there were, I, I was talking to, two, uh, two, uh, somebody else, a lady, but I don't remember what chat line I was talking to her with, and I don't, I can't find it anymore. Yes, I love art glitter glue. That's what I use. Okay, so now we can see that this is going to stick to this space right here. And my, um, signature page is now bigger than my bottom because if we look at our purse it's still going to be hiding inside of it do you see that it's going to be inside so i did want to keep my little signature page stuff I, since we have the die i wanted to use it so here is how i'm doing this the glue is right here and right here and i do really score it a lot and here's Sonia's favorite tool. And I'm taking that one off. And then I'm just gonna lift this little piece up a little bit. And we have to put it on the front. And we have to kind of eyeball. And I do have a ruler, I guess a grid system on my uh, mat if I want it to be more exact, right about there and then we bring that down can you guys see that let me see if I can bring this closer in no this applicator uh, comes from Amazon and I absolutely love this because it has a, a uh, little thing with a needle on it and it comes from Amazon it is called a fine line applicator and I'm not smart enough to have an Amazon store, so it's just on the bottom of my uh, little tutorials. Of it'll give you a tag line to go in there. Okay, took this one off, and we need another glue on the front of this. So let's, we need another glue, we need another tape, sorry. I use art glitter glue, I absolutely love it. Um, I, I think, that we have tried all kind of different ones and I keep coming back to art glitter. So that's what I use all the time. Yeah, I'll put it at the end of the evening. I'll, I'll put uh, the name at the end of the class, like in the description spaces. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I want to make sure that this bottom is as close to the seam here and then we bring it around to the front, and there it goes. Look at that. You see, super easy, ladies, not bad at all. Uh, there is our little book inside from our little purse, and we've got it all glued in, and now we just have to do the exact same thing three more, two more times. I'm putting this one on here. I didn't have it before. That's the one that comes this way. Yeah. And I didn't have enough time today. I was went to lunch with the boys or else I would have been uh, doing a lot of this prep work before our little event. I do try to prep before, uh, cut up things so that you guys are not just watching me. I use Barely Arts, and uh, but not in love. I think uh, Sherry probably knows more about Barely Arts. Isn't that the one that you were trying out? Um, okay, so now it's time to put this one in. And I am doing it, the same thing, the little gold uh, logo on the bottom. And let's get this one off. I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in, in uh, the view of the 
cell phone because my laptop is still going in circles. That's kind of scary. Okay, so uh, believe it or not, I, I am using the grid here. I have this little grid that's right there, and this one is on the darker one. And so if I put this down, I am going to say that right there, I don't have the, um, the traveling mat to this light product. And I think it's about 50 bucks and I'm gonna have to invest in it because I need to take this light to with me to uh, Dripping Springs because I did not take it with me to Alabama and I missed it. I was really, it was dark in there. You need to take light, uh, Yvonne, when you go. You need to take light. And you will go because if you have a child in Alabama, then you need to go. Yeah. Visit them and go scrapbooking. Okay, look at that. There's our next one. So that kind of starts getting easier as we go. And our page is not absolutely perfect, but nobody's going to know except for you and me. Right there. It's off by like a little tiny hair. And we will just say that it was supposed to be like that on purpose. By design, we made that one bigger. Looks so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you, uh, Barbara, you like art glitter. I do too. And they say there's something what you have to order it ahead of time or something because it is, um, doesn't travel good in, what is it? Maybe cold. You're not supposed to, it doesn't travel good in cold. Right there. Down. This one needs to come off, and then we need to put one on the top. My chair makes that funny noise. Do you guys hear that chair noise? It kind of like, it sounds like it's a bell. It's like telling me not to eat. <laughs> and hey, Rylene, how are you? It's good to have you here with me. Yes. Temperature sensitive. Is that what it is? So what happens when it, it like freezes maybe? It's not supposed to be uh, get, getting uh, moved around when it's cold. I think that's what they, I've heard. Okay, let's get this one just perfect. There we go. Alrighty, look at that. We have our third signature page. I keep saying that because... Yvonne, uh, Sonia and I were talking about uh, pages and we couldn't remember what the signature page is called. Okay, so now we have these. So we're gonna leave for the back. That is popping off. That one I'm gonna use on the back page. This one is gonna be my front page because I think it's prettier. I don't know. Here we go. So now what we need to do is I like to have the front page, the little tab hinge part on the inside. I don't want the hinge part to show on this outside part. You fold your little purse down and I am trying to see if I am in the center space and I'm going to put a tiny little pencil mark to try to help me find it when I put this down. And I think I probably need the score tape that is one thinner than this because the, I'm using, I'm wasting the score tape here. There we go. And I do have all different sizes of score tape. It's just that one's the one that's on the table. So guess which one gets used. We just flip it in to itself. And I really wish that somebody that would be hanging out in my living room would bring me my scissors. That would be my husband, but I'm thinking he's probably not listening to me. What do you think? And here. Now I'm going to figure out how to do this flat. 
I put a tiny little pencil mark right here and that's gonna be where this one needs to join and a tiny pencil mark over here. So before I press go, it is there. And then we get the ugly eraser and erase off that stuff. A little goes a long way with the bear or with the art glitter. Okay, there we go. And now from this side, we can do some scoring, pressing this down, making sure it's really stuck because we don't want to lose our front. And now the same thing on this side. We need our glue. Okay, and then our back face. And I'm thinking about right there. And am I the same with my purse? If we fold this all the way down this way, you can see the background of your purse here. And then you're bringing this one on top. You hold it down, okay? And then you want to see from this one to the bottom of the purse to see if it's kind of straight. So that's how you're kind of measuring to see if it's, uh, it looks like our, our little, what do we call them? Handles are holding on. And let's take this part off. So you kind of just want to visually see the top handle and let's go for it. Is it is it the glue, is the glue bad for the doggies? Is it toxic or something? My dog doesn't uh, I don't think he's been trying to eat, as of right now, trying to eat uh, glue. He tries to eat um, paper. My paper little scraps, my little confetti stuff that falls on the floor. That's what he likes to eat. Okay, so I'm using this to cover up this boo-boo mess that is this ruffle. And I think that's what I want to do right there and I I don't want to use the very end because then I don't have an end on this side I think I want it to be out how are we gonna do that do we want just this part to this part and then you see that or do you want it to fold over the whole thing I want it to fold over the whole thing I, I, let me tell you, when we got these borders, it was like a dream come true. Maybe that's an exaggeration for some, but it was so dreamy because I did not have the, what do I call them? I call them the 2016 uh, borders that were called, um, what were they called? Oh my goodness, they are the... not holiday trimmings but they're called trimmings and they're the great big huge fat trimmings and I had to borrow them from um, Rosie. Rosie let me borrow them uh, because they were absolutely gorgeous and I must have been asleep in a coma or something whenever they were on 
uh, HSN. In 2016, she made some with, Anna Griffin made some with um, gorgeousness. Uh, they're not the 3D ones that she makes now, but they were really, they're really, really gorgeous. Okay, we're putting this down and committing to that. And how I'm going to cut it from this side, I don't know. But that's what I wanted. I figured I could probably use the blade here on this side to cut. There we go. to do these little these little tiny little X's okay still still nice though yes yes they're they're very I love them um, and then I I borrowed them from Rosie and then I went and bid on some on Amazon I'm not Amazon, sorry, eBay, because I just had to have them. Just like that hat, Sonia, the hat box, and Pam. Pam is going to be laughing at me because I bought the, the hat box twice and then canceled it and then bought it again. I know, I'm a sick person, but that hat box is super cute, and I have hats to put in it. I don't think it's ideal for um, for crafting tools. If you like it, that's great. But I, for my crafting tool purpose, I don't think I need it. Uh, but I need it for my hat boxes. Oh, I like the way that border is coming out. That's looking like a double border now, isn't it? It would be gorgeous with a bunch of flowers. Yes, it would. Okay, so now where do we want these little pieces? They're hiding in that other one. Mm. I think they have to just glue down and it will be different than the other one. I think I'm going to have to cut that off. Do you guys see that? There's a difference here. I have gold ones and here I haven't put the gold ones yet. Um, but we're going to cut that little part off and we'll put a little half gold in there later. So it will look the same like this side. Okay. Now, same thing over here. You got the right angle ruler, Barbara. The right angle ruler is what I use for um, uh, miter cutting, this one. You can see. That's the right angle ruler that I use uh, to uh, do borders, uh, miter corners. I'm losing my mind, mitering corners, yes. Yes, I love that for my green corners. It, it works for me. It, it really does. Um, and it makes it look so neat because you cut them all at the same time. So it looks super neat. Like, how, how can you not want to do it that way? Okay, now we're going to bring this one down. I'm going to take this little piece up. And this little piece up. Okay, so our book is just about done. What else do we have to do to it? Uh, I'm not going to keep you guys on Friday night and um, and decorate it. I'll show you. I'll do a little mini uh, and show you how I end up decorating it. But you can see that it is coming along. There we go. And I'm not an exacto super fan by any means. It's just I know that this works best for this little purpose here. I kind of go back and forth whether it's an exacto that I'm using or if I'm grabbing the scissors. Um, but I do keep this glass mat on my table. And I have found that I love the glass mat with the exacto knife in my hand because it it works um, 
I think somebody once told me that they got a glass mat from the dollar store or maybe a picture frame or something. Um, I will definitely decorate it and show you. Maybe I have to uh, play with this tomorrow. My husband was asking me what we were going to do tomorrow. Uh, the contractors are coming back tomorrow, the painters. Love, love, love my painters, but they're very busy. Uh, all kind of construction people are very busy, right? Okay, so now here's the test. How do we keep this? How do they fold together? Oh, the little handles are together. Look at that. The little handles are together. Look at that. So I think we need to put gold little uh, pieces on these both little handles here because that's that's only fitting. And I, you're going to think that I'm crazy, but I think it needs little feet. Doesn't it need like a little gold half stud? Of, like I'm looking at this pearl and I think that it needs half half pearl stud on the bottom. It needs feet. Because um, now it's, it's a real purse. It's real. It's real. Um. Oh my goodness, see, I moved my, my cup that Annie told me that if you put cotton and water, which maybe I need more water in there, and um, and you put your little tip thing in there, you don't have to put keep putting the glue tip back on. I was wasting too much time putting it back on because this little tip will get uh, clogged. And some kind of way, the, the wet cotton keeps it not from doing that. I have to go this way. I need two of these. Um, it's beautiful, Martha. Thank you so much, sweet Sharon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much also for sharing your beautiful dyes with my sweet friend, Annie. That's very sweet of you. That is the best kind of friend I can imagine. Somebody that shares your dyes. Um, with you right if they share your dice with you if you're going to share your dice with me then then you can be my bestie rosie's my bestie she shared her dies with me and uh sherry also uh sherry and i live not we used to live gosh we could have been what at the most 10 minutes with traffic away from each other and then my husband moved me to the middle of nowhere by the way husband um, and I think you've come to visit me once before when I was at the first house, right, Sherry? Um, but, you know, I'm not like, it's not convenient anymore. So, yeah. You're putting my order in uh, to me, Martha, <laughs> Annie. Yes, I know. I know. I have a, I have a whole stack. I have a, uh, if I showed you, if I turned the camera over, I could show you that, um, I was just thinking how convenient it is that whoever built this house, uh, put the window ledges just at the right height of my table. And, uh, I use the window ledge uh, as a shelf and on my window ledge I have uh, some what are those things called the, the sock organizers for Annie and then I also have uh, some socks for Annie I don't know how I ended up with socks and Annie's stack but yeah you put your order in look how cute that stinking purse came out and of course we have to do a flap that goes all the way around it uh, maybe a nice thick one well, it can't be that thick because it has to go through the little purse to be, that one's too thin. It's gonna, it has to be this one, but it has to be a little bit uh, thicker, thinner. Where's our paper cutter? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cute. You use a wet paper towel to keep your glue stick from being, getting wet. That's genius. It's genius. It, it works. Now, if this is the same thickness as that little strip, it, I'm going to be upset. No, it's not. It's bigger. Okay. 
Let's see, is that going to be enough? Yeah, I like that. So now let me show you what I'm doing. I'm putting it in here, okay, into that little spot. We're going to put some heavy-duty Sudoku tape because this is going to be getting opened and closed constantly. And, uh, and, we're, and I have, I don't know, six magnets left. I am like on the edge of my magnet uh, stash. I need to get Roncia to place an order and then, and then I can hitch ride from her order. Okay, so now we have this part right there in. And if we go this way and this way, okay, and then you want to be at least two inches thick. Now that's too small, too thin, too here. We want to put it closer in. And then it's like this. That is the right spot, okay. So if we are gluing this right on this spot, I'm putting a little pencil mark again, me and my pencil mark right here. Okay, and that's where we're gonna score it. Hey, Roncia, hey, smarty pan girl. You know, guys, we have to watch Anna Griffin TV because Roncia is gonna be on it next week. Yes, she is. I'm super excited to see all the yummies in her room. Okay, and then we're gonna do this, I wanna say is, is that a ruler? I don't know if that's a ruler. Uh, here it is one and a half okay so let's say if we do here to here that's two so one and a half let's do one and three quarters that's gonna be a really fat that's gonna be really fat so I'm gonna go with one and three quarter one and three quarters and then we're gonna go right here okay are we going night night? And Anne is going night night. Cynthia, when it's going to be next week? I, I'm not sure if it's in uh, if it's going to be in uh, a Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. I think our lives usually on Wednesday. Okay, so you see how we ended up with this little uh, book tag, a little flappy one. Okay. And, of course, I can't just leave it like that because I have issues. I want another little strip. Just wanted to make it the right size. Let's go this way. And I'm going to go right about there. Hey, Cynthia. Sonia, I'm keeping you up late tonight, aren't I? But but you're not working tomorrow. I have to go to, back to work soon. I think I think I have next week off, and then and then I'm uh, done with my uh, knee. Oh, I'm sorry for that loudness. Uh, with my knee recuperation time, I need to go back to see my patients. I have been missing them. I have to go back and save. What make the world a prettier place by getting everybody's teeth nice and clean? That's what my super magic power is. My super magic power is making the world prettier, one smile at a time, one little smile at a time. And uh, Roncia is saying, Martha just told you guys why I'm in trouble. I never wanted to be have a pretty room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now your uh, yeah your room is pretty, Roncia. It's pretty with all that gorgeous pretty stuff. Yes, it is, Miss Missy. Yep, it's a pretty room. Yes, it is. Okay, so now I'm putting this down. And here. I hear my dog snoring. I hope you guys aren't hearing that. It's funny to hear a doggy snore. 
It's so peaceful. I know, Marilyn, her room is gorgeous. I think a room is gorgeous because of all of this gorgeous stuff and the stuff that's coming out of it. That is exactly what I think. Yes, and her the products coming out of her room are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm putting, now here is my flap, and in here I'm putting this little tape. I think it's really funny that I keep grabbing this blade, and maybe it's because my good scissors are in my living room. And if my husband was listening to me, he would know to bring me my good scissors over there by my chair. Yeah, you have to hide all the really good stuff. When Roncia says she has bad stuff, she really means she has really, really good stuff. Yes, she has. Okay, Roncia, I need more magnets. Do you need any more magnets? Okay, and I am going to get this little magnet right here. I have four of them. And I'm putting... Uh, do I want to use two or do I want to do one on this? I think we should do two because I think that it is going to uh, be really fat. I think it's going to be a really fat uh, book. And there. Okay. And then I like to put this little thing right on top. And, and I leave it there. I don't necessarily need to take that off because nobody's supposed to see that. And if you're seeing that, don't look. No more. Don't look there no more. That's what we need to say. Don't look there no more. And now what we have here is we have these little two magnets there. She, ne she doesn't have any junk, Sonia. She's a, she's a lion. She's all kind of lion. She ain't moving any. Yeah. I have not seen Roncia's room. Oh, my God. I can't separate these uh, in person. I have seen it many times via Facebook, like maybe this morning. And it is beautifulness. Okay, so now I have these here, and I can uh, put the actual tape down first, okay? So the tape, this little strap has to go in first. Yeah, Roncia produces the most beautiful things I don't even understand. Uh, she is my uh, blingy glitter uh, superstar over there, and... Um, Right next to Joe. We, oh, how is Joe doing? If Rosie's still here. Uh, and then I'm tucking in this little thing in here. Okay, so I'm tucking it in. Trying to make sure it's kind of in the center. It looks like it's kind of centered to me. And I'm the one that it matters to. So look at that. That is centered. And then if you bring this around right here. So that means that these need to be on the inside, okay, like this. So you put them in the little pocket like that. <laughs> They're moving around a lot. Yeah, she has the most beautiful stuff. Stuff, lots of stuff in there. Lots of beautiful Anna Griffin stuff. Having a hard time doing this. Okay, so let's let's do this. We have to rethink our, our issue. And here. This purse is classic me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is pretty much. This is pretty much if I if I had a purse, it would look like this. If I was a purse designer, 
uh, it would look like this. That's pretty much true. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I do have that problem. Because she keeps traveling back to me. It needs to be staying inside the pocket. It's not usually this hard. So what I do is I bring this right here and there, and then the magnet will find itself. And then you press really hard so that you can really close this up. There we go. Absolutely, it, it needs to be functional. Abs I totally understand. I um, I'm gonna have to go in here and make sure it's sticking down really good because I don't want my magnets to leave their spot. And I'm gonna probably stick some more tape in here and make sure. But now we have our little snap right there. Look at that. And of course, this needs some kind of little gold buckle or something on there, doesn't it? It needs something. It needs a bow also. A bow. I'm going to try to figure out how to make a scarf on this. It, I think it definitely needs a scarf. I'm just going to have to figure out how to do the scarf. If I had little fabric pieces to make a scarf. Deborah probably, uh, Deborah, Donna has probably left us, but she's my fabric person. She used to make, she used to make wedding dresses. Like that's gotta be like super intense. I, I can't even imagine making somebody's wedding dresses. Like that's, oof, have you guys seen those wedding shows? Like there's some, people are really hyped up like like that's some serious stuff. Here we go. So now for right this minute, I'm putting a little gold buckle because this is what I uh, have here and I want the little gold buckle to kind of finish this up. But you know there has to be more stuff to this. And we're right at 10 o'clock and my two hour break is, is coming to an end. So I'm going to make all kind of little tags for this and I will show it to you. I'll make a little, I'll make a little, uh, you used to work at a wedding store, Sonia? Wow. Were people crazy? Like, were people like, like really upset? Well, I would, I would be because one, I'd have to be on a diet and, you know, I'd probably be hangry. Uh, yes, right? And, uh, yeah, so, oh my God, I am so in love with this. I can't even tell you how much I absolutely love this. I can't tell you guys how much fun this has been. It has been so much fun. I think we need to figure out what else we're gonna do to it. Um, and uh, then I'm going to, uh, Joe is good. Oh, thank you, uh, Rosie. Uh, thank you, Roncia and Sonia and Barbara. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out with me. Uh, Cynthia, uh, I really, I am so loving this. I'm going to put some kind of decorations and we have to make more tags. Maybe we should use the tags that we got from, uh, what did we get? The tags from Create 8. Yes, we have Create 8 tags. I wonder if they would fit in here. I think it would be really fun. Uh, so... <laughs> Do you guys want to see what I just did? <laughs> I just found a boo-boo. I think I found a boo-boo in my plan. Okay, we can always fix it. Okay, but I'm going to tell you, this is the front. So when you flip it open, this is actually not the front. This is, this is not the front. So actually, this is the front. <laughs> front is actually I put the the tag that the, this thing in the wrong spot after it took me so long uh, so we will fix that <laughs> it's 
It's absolutely darling gorgeous. And of course, it's supposed to have pictures. So we'll put some beautiful pictures here and then you can still see that it's an absolutely gorgeous, cute little purse. But I always tell you guys that you have to put like a, a piece of paper or something to make sure that you know what the front of your page is. And I guess I forgot my rule. So we still love it. Yeah, I still love it, Barbara, also. But I always like to show you guys my mistakes because it's it's the 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 struggle is real here with mistakes. So look how super darling cute it is. And the front and the back are really super darling cute. It does need feet though. It needs a little something gorgeous. Hey Rosie, yay. Yvonne, you're still here with me. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you guys next. Um, I uh, let's let's plan on Thursday for next week and uh, and I will put a little when I put this together this weekend I will put a little video up and show you guys I know Barbara darn I know <laughs> what do you think I'm I'm thinking <laughs> I tell you I don't know what I'm thinking I think it's hysterical that I do these things <laughs> I do these things all the time uh, because, you know, you guys think that I am uh, some kind of magic guru scrapbooker and I am so not magic guru scrapbooker. I am messing up left and right. And what in the world is this? <laughs> she put the buckle. She put the buckle on the front and it, it, uh, goes to the back I guess <laughs> so it's all good hey it's still a super cute little page I cannot see the the comments anymore oh is it that I'm upside down <laughs> ah am I the right side up yes you're upside down hey I'm telling you the struggle is real here <laughs> We love it. Yes, I should make like a blunders reel would be like hours long. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I put the buckle on the front instead of in the back. But we won't tell Anna Griffin that, okay? We'll just say what a darling little purse Martha ended up with. Ha ha ha. Yes. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you all next week. At th on Thursday. Next week, Thursday. Let's plan on that day. Thank you so much, Annette, Cynthia. Thank you all for joining me. I have had a blast. I hope you did too, and I hope you learned something. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Barbara. <laughs>